you need to check before we start our training. The first thing is on the software installation. Alright, so make sure you guys already um, install the software for the TBQ. We have two software for TBQ, which is the first one is on the TBQC server and the second one is on the TBQC client. Alright. And then the second thing that you should uh, take note is on the training material. Make sure you guys already download the training material for today so that we can actually practice together. All right. And then the third thing that you need to take note is on the license. All right. So for the license, I will show, I will share my screen first. Alright, so here is the license for you for today. And then what you need to do is you just need to find your name and then take note on the email and password here lah. Alright, later during the training, I will explain to you on how to actually uh, on how to actually use this license lah. Alright, so you just need to take note on this item only. And then if you guys have any problem, in term of the software installation or maybe in term of the training material let me know in the chat box below and then i will i will try to assist you lah all right thank you Uh, for intent to Haida, yes, you can use uh, TBQC 3 version 7699. All right.
For the Kai Zun Tang, already noted on that, but make sure you guys already installed two of the TBQ, TBQ software, right? So for the server one and also for the client one. We will start in three minutes. Okay, thank you. All right, uh, Assalamualaikum and a very good morning again for you guys who attend our uh, basic training for today. Thank you. And before we start, I would like to... Okay, all right. So before we start, I would like to introduce myself first. Lah. Okay, so... All right, so... Uh... Alright, so my name is Siti Nur Atika. My name is Siti Nur Atika, and I'm a service consultant uh, at Claudia Malaysia. And as a service consultant, we provide training, project guidance, or, and also technical support. Alright, so if you have anything, uh, anything query regarding the QB course, you can actually email us in this email address. And then if you have if you need any technical assistance, you can go to this uh, community.glodem.com, right? So maybe because today we have like a small group of participants, maybe can I have, we have like a small or All right. So sorry because I'm not sharing my screen. Uh, my screen just now. So uh okay. All right. So my name is Siti Nur Atika, and you can call me Atika lah. All right. We can have a uh, a small uh a small ice breaking. Maybe uh, maybe you can share me in the level of understanding or knowledge on the TBQC. Maybe some of you guys uh, already have uh, knowledge in TBQC, right? So, maybe, and maybe some of you guys is a beginner with zero knowledge or maybe some of you guys is a beginner, but you have done a few a few works using our our TBQC software. So maybe you can share me your experience in the chat below, so that I can actually know you know you lah. All right.
All right, for Kai Zun Tang, you have zero knowledge, it's okay. Oh, you're an internship student, all right. <laughs> all right, for Intan Juhaida, I have used TBQC before for the identifying PDF purpose to convert PDF file to Excel file, all right. So, okay, noted on that. Later, during the training, I will try to explain you, for, uh, explain you more on how to use uh, our software. Lah. All right, so, uh, uh, okay, take note on that. All right, so, so here is a, <clears throat> here is a, is a, is a short instruction during our training. So first, kindly listen to the trainer till the end of the session. And the second thing is, please make sure to mute the microphone. But if you guys have any question to ask, and if you guys are willing to actually talk to me, you can unmute your microphone lah, okay? And then if you have any question, please leave a message in the chat box below during the session, okay? If you are, if you are, if you don't want to speak to me, you just can chat me in the chat box below, right? Q&A session will be conducted after each topic. But for example, if you if during the training, uh, I'm a too, uh, I'm a bit too fast or too slow, or maybe you want me to actually repeat on some topic, you can just notify me in the chat box, lah, all right? And then be open minded, right? Okay. So we will start our training for the TBQC contractor. Okay. So basically, uh, as I mentioned. Before, uh, as I mentioned just now, you have to install the software first, right? So later on, I will explain to you on how to actually log in into that software, lah. Okay. So first thing first, I will explain to you on the product overview. Okay. So basically, uh, under the TBQC contract, under the TBQC software, we have three products that you should know. All right. So the first. Uh, product is on the Cubicos TBQC server. Okay, so server, when we talk about server, like a normal server in your own company, uh, the server is a server management application and it, and it is actually one click backup and restore data. Lah, for example, for example, I give you example lah. In, a, in your own company, you have a server, right? So whoever who can access to that server can actually see the exact same thing, uh, same thing as others. Lah. So our server is similar to that, all right? So, and then the, uh, but one thing that you should take note is, for example, in a company, you have five, uh, you have five PCs, for example, but only one PC will be installed as a server one. All right, and then the others one will be install this Cubicos TBQC client. All right, so for the second products under the TBQC is actually on a TBQC client. We call it as a TBQC client. So from here, this TBQC client is actually a platform where we can produce the VQ and also do some cost management, lah, for example. Alright, so just now I talk about the server, right? So I give you like a simple situation. For example, in here, in this software, you actually create a new project named as ABC Condominium, for example. And once a user create uh, the project in here, the project will be stored in the server. So for example, got another user want to view uh, the ABC, ABC Condominium, once the server log in by using the same server, that particular user also can see the project that have been created by the other user, lah. All right. So it is actually a simple, simple uh, understanding about the server and also our TBQC client software. All right. And then uh, our TBQC client also interoperable with our TES, TRB, and also eTender. All right, this why in terms of maybe you want to link the quantity from the TS and the RB, you can also do in our TBQC client. All right, 
And then uh, the last thing is that the this software will be installed in the client's computer lah, like I just said, uh, I said just now. So for, for example, if you guys have five PCs in a company, one PC will be selected as a server and the other four PC will be installed this TBPC clients. The orange color, the orange color one, alright. And then the third product under the TBQC is on the e-tender. E-tender is not same as the TBQC server and also TBQC client. This is because uh, e-tender is not a software, but it is actually a web-based tendering platform. Alright, that it uh this this uh platform can be used for the consultant and contractor lah. Alright, so maybe I can give you like a simple situation. For example, got contract, uh, got consultant A, uh, already produce the T, uh, the BQ by using our software, for example. And then once uh, they want to call for the tender, the consultant can actually convert uh, our file to BQD file. We call it as BQD file. And then uh, the BQD file. Uh, the consultant can give the contract to the contractor the BQD file. So the contractor who want to enter into the tender can actually open into this web-based platform and then uh, they can easily key in their price by using this uh, platform. Lah. All right. So this is basically a uh, three product overview, overview under our TBQC software. All right. So up until here, uh, I hope you guys can understand. All right. So if you guys have any question, you just can uh, notify me in the chat box below, right? Okay. <clears throat> So I will proceed to the next slide. Okay. All right. So for this one, I will skip for today's training because later on, maybe you guys already purchased our product and you want to have a uh, have a guideline on how to set up our software. You can actually refer to this slide again. But for today, I will skip this one. And this one, I, I will also skip lah, alright? Mm -hmm. So, okay, alright. So, I will start from here on the installation and quick start, okay? Okay, before the training, I believe you guys already installed the TBQC server and also TBQC client, alright? So, this I believe you guys already done this step, the first, second, third and fourth step. Right, because you already install the, uh, the, the software in your own PC. Okay, so I will just keep this file, and then I will move on to here. All right, so you guys can actually try to open your server first. All right, so you guys can actually open your server first. You can see my screen, right? All right. So you guys can actually uh, open your server first and then I will try to explain to you lah, okay? All right. Alright, I will proceed for this one first. Alright, so the next step after you already after you already uh, open your server, one thing that you need to 
uh, you will have this kind of interface. So uh, just now, wait, yeah. I think maybe we have a few new participants, right? All right, for the others who, who already joined our training, you can take note on this uh, email, take note on the email and, and password for today's training. Lah. Okay. For Kai Zuntang, all right, the license, uh, we will give you the license free until next Monday, right? So if you later on, after you already finish, after we already finish our training today, you need to submit, uh, you need to submit your project, right? So you can try, you need to try finish your project before Tuesday, lah, but not because we just provide you the license until Monday, right? Okay, so you guys already open your, your server, right? So once you open your server, this interface will appear. Lah. All right, so one, uh, what you need to do is you just need to key in your email and password here. All right, maybe for today's training, I will try to show you first and later, I will give you uh, a few minutes to actually do for your part, lah, right? So, as for me, I try to open my server first. Alright, so here is my server one, alright? So, what I need to do is I just need to key in my email and password here, alright? So, I try to key in my email and password first. Right. Once I key in my password, I just need to click, click on next. All right. So, and then here. All right. So, the next step is select a company administrator from the user list 
shown below. Alright. So if you guys using our license, you will, you will see only one license lah. So you just need to click on that license to set uh, that uh, email as a company administrator. Okay. So you just need to click on it and then click next. Alright. So once you click next, the next step is to confirm the safe path for project and back backup file lah. And then you just need to click on next. Alright, and then uh, congratulations, you have completed setting for the server. So, what you need to do is you just need to click on start. Alright, once you finish, uh, when you finish uh, until step 8, this, this kind of interface will appear, lah, the pink one. Alright, so from here, what you need to do is you just need to click on start. Alright. Once you click uh, on site, you will, you will, uh, the interface will change from the pink one to the green one lah. And then currently the server is starting. Alright, so we can wait for a few minutes. And then before, while waiting for this one, maybe you can do for your pipe first. I will give you until 9.50 to set, uh, to open your server. Alright. Alright, uh, everyone done uh, opening your, your server, right? Once the server, uh, how you can know that the, your server is already running is that, as you can see here, the server is running, okay? For the for for Amy, uh, your means you have you have your TBQC server and also TBQC client in your own PC, right? Ah, uh, okay. So you just can use that account, lah. All right. Thank you. Eh, all right. <laughs> Okay, once you done uh, this server part, uh, one thing that you should take note is on the IP address, alright? So, make sure you uh, have the IP address here, alright? And then, after, the, after that, uh, after that, alright. So, this one, as I mentioned just now, once before the server is running, the color will be uh, pink. And then after the server is running, the color will be changed to green. Lah. And then got IP address here. So you just need to take note on that IP address, all right? So 
Alright, so here is the what actually is a verb. Alright, so here is if you want to stop the TBQ, TBQ, TBQ server first, you just need to click on the account name at the top left to open the menu and you need to unbind first. Alright, so this, uh, this in case maybe you want to stop your server. Alright. Alright, the next thing that I will explain to you is on the TBQC uh, client, the orange one, the orange software, right? So I believe you guys already done the first, second, third and fourth step, right? So I will just proceed to the next step here, alright? So you can uh, try to open your TBQC uh, software first and then this kind of interface will appear, lah, okay? So once you open your TBQC uh, software, right, I try to open mine first. Alright, so this is the interface of our TBQC3 software before we log in into the TBQ, alright. So what you need to do here is you just need to use the same email and same password uh, as just now, same same with the server one, all right? So you just need to click on it, and then here got a uh, additional step here, which is you just need to click on this um small magnifying glass here, and then this one is for the to search the server one, all right? So as you can see here, mine got a few server because currently I'm staying. Uh, in my office. So my colleague also have the server one. So what I need to do is I just need to find the IP address that is similar with my server one. Lah, all right. So my one is 192.168.024. Right. So this is my server. Lah, okay. And then if let's say for example you can't find your server here, maybe you got some cases that you cannot find your server here, you just can click on this part. You just can manually key in your server, uh, your IP address here lah, based on this uh, IP address, okay? So because uh, currently we are able to search for the server, so I just click on here lah, search server automatically, all right? So what I need to do is just click on the right server, and then once I click it, I just need to click on okay, okay? So once, once you click, once you choose the correct server, you just need to click on this login button lah. Right. So maybe you can try your part first and then if you guys have any problem uh, to maybe to log in into your TBQ, let me know in the chat box below and I will try to assist you lah. Okay. I will give you until... 9.58, two minutes to open your TBQC server, a eh, TBQC client, okay? For intent, Johaida, you are using your company uh, PC, right? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, you can use your company license, but make sure you don't delete anything lah later. But if you want to use our license, you need to install the server in your own PC lah. Alright.
Alright, are you guys uh, able to log in into the TBQC software? If yes, you just can comment in the chat box below so that I can know. <clears throat> and maybe if you guys, if some of you guys still can open the TBQC server, let me know and we wait for you lah. Okay. So everyone already opened your TBQC uh, client, right? I will start uh, explaining on this, on the interface part lah, if you guys already uh, log in into the TBQC software, all right? So here you just need to choose, because today is on the contractor training, so you just need to click on the contractor, okay? But if you guys already use your company license, you don't don't have this kind of interface lah because the license uh, you purchase is depends on your company lah whether it is consultant or contractor, alright? So here you just need to click on contractor and click start, alright? So first thing first, before we start uh, doing our BQ, I will explain on the interface first, okay? So here, uh, at the left side here, alright, so at the left side here, got a new tab. New tab is where you want to create a new project, alright? So new tab here. Later, I will show you uh, on how to create a, the, the project. And then, the second, the second one is on, on the import, right? So this one import, if you guys uh, have the BQD file, you can actually import the BQD file from here. And then the option is on the, where you can uh, find your, your software version. For example, if I ask you your software version, you can just go here. And then here, got the version lah. This is the latest version, 7699, right? And then uh, here got the bottom part got the P and L. So P stand for the project. So when you want to find your all your project here, you just need to click on P lah, okay? And then L stand for library. So for example, I click on L, and then here got the resources library and BQ library, all right? So how we can actually use it? For example, you have done your a project using our TBQ, uh, TBQ software and then you want to save the BQ in library so you just can click on here BQ library and then you just can import uh, to here lah okay and then for the resources library is where you want to actually save your resources like resources in the bit of read later later I will show you on how to actually save your resources in this library all right and then uh, on the left, on the right side here, got the user manager button, all right? So for the user manager, you are able to see it if you are using our license, lah, for example, or maybe you you log in into the TPQC using the administrator because only administrator are able to see this user manager, all right? So I will show you uh, the screen, uh, my slide first, all right? All right, so currently we are, uh, currently we are, I will, I will teach you on the management tool, all right? So the first one is on the user management, all right? So user, user management here, as I said just now, we can find our user manager here, all right? So what is the function of the user manager, okay? So, for the user manager, uh, for the TBQ, uh, TBQ, we need to understand that there are two types of role in our TBQ. The first one is on the administrator and the second one is on the user. So uh, administrator and user have different kind of uh, role, right? So as an administrator, you can actually modify the permission 
on its user by selecting the group name. All right. As I show you just now, maybe I can show you on this uh, on the software first. For example, here. All right. When we click on here, as an administrator, you can actually set uh, the permission for each user. All right. So for example, I delete this one first. All right. So currently, as an administrator, uh, what we can do as administrator is we can export and save the project, read and write all project, read and write resources library, read and write BQ library. What is mean by read and write is on is actually uh, to view and edit the projects, resources library, and also BQ library. So for example, as an administrator, I want to set a permission to my new user, for example. So if I want to set it, I just need to click on this uh, plus button here, and you just need to click on, for example, I try to key in senior QS, right? Senior QS. All right, so as a senior, senior QS, I want to set this senior QS uh, to able to export and save the project, read and write all project, read and write resources library, and read and write the BQ library. So you just need to tick on the box that you want, and then, and then maybe you want to add on another, another users, for example, junior QS, right? So we just need to click on here, Junior QS. And then as a Junior QS, you want to set their permission to read only, read the project only. So you just need to click on here, read all projects, read only the resources library, and read only the BQ library. All right. So that's how you can actually set the permission for each user. Lah. This one, the user manager is the general one. All right. So you just click on OK. All right. So that one is on the user manager on the uh, right top here. And then the next thing that you. All right. So the next thing that I will explain to you is on the project permission setting. But before I I explain on this, maybe we can create the project first. All right. So you can you can see on how me how I am creating the project first, and then I will let you guys to do by yourself later. Right. So here, how to actually how. Uh, to create a new project is you just need to go on the P, P button here. P is for the project, right? So just click on here, P. And then you just need to click on this, this one, the new button. All right. So for today's training, maybe you can just put any name for your project because this one is just for the training purpose. For example, I put uh, my name. and then today's date is 11, 11 2021 all right and then this one also you can also key in if you want have you want to have a detail project info lah on the type project number supervisor cfa jfa and the tender date and then by uh, the required information is just on the project name and also apply in here measure all right so once you done and put the project name, you just need to click on OK. All right. OK, so here got my new project. All right, so I will show you on my slide first. All right, once we create a project, for example, right? And then one thing that we should take note is on the project permission. Setting. All right. Project permission setting can provide a setting for the edit, cost, and addendum creation and report. All right. And then, but the one thing that you should take note is the project permission setting is different from the user manager because the user manager only the administrator can make changes, right? 
but for the project permission setting, the creator and administrator can modify the permission. For example, if the project have been created by the junior QS, the junior QS also can do this project permission setting. All right. So I will show you on the software first. All right. So this is my new project. Okay. So how can I go to that project permission setting is by at the setting part here got three dots, right? So you just need to click on these three dots and go to project setting here. Okay. All right. So here is uh, the project setting interface lah. But currently we are, uh, we have on, we only have one like one user. So I'm not able to show you here. I will show you uh, in my slide. All right. So for example here got two users, Sonia and TPQ. So how can I actually I add Sonia to that project? For example, I want to, for example, in a company, you have five QS, but for that kind, for that project, you want only two QS involved, right? So you just can select which QS that you want uh, he or she to involve. So once you click on the Sonia, next thing is you can, you just need to click on this button, all right? Then, after you click on this button, Sonia will appear in this project, okay? So, from here, you can actually uh, set the permission for edit, cost, addendum creation and also report lah. Same as uh, user setting just now. Maybe you want Sonia to uh, can add, read and write, read only. Okay, so you just can set it here lah, okay? Alright, that's why it's on the project permission setting. Okay, and then the next thing that uh, I want to show you is on the... Alright, besides that, in these three dots, what you can do is you maybe just now when you create a new project, you only key in the project name and also here, apply in Malaysia for example, right? But Later on, when you done the project, you feel like you want to add on another information. So how you can do uh, do that? You can actually go to this setting here, and then you just need to go to this project information. All right. From here, you can actually add on another information lah. For example, here I put as a residential. All right. Maybe you want to have your supervisor. And maybe uh, you want to put the project number then for easy reference, you just need to put as 001 for example. And then and then maybe the location for example. Alright, so you just need to key in all the additional information that you want in here. Alright. Once you you once you key in, you just need to click on this button lah. Alright. So, so as here, as you can see here, got the project name, uh, project number, date created, created by, and last modified. For example, if your BQ, TBQ cannot see this project number, what you need to do is you just need to right click on, on this area, at this area, right click, and then got here, maybe you want to show your project number, for example, project number, and also... Uh, project number lah for example because should be the project number uh, by default the project number is not show here but if you want to show the project number you just need to right click here and then you can just choose whatever information that you want uh, it to be show here lah for example I want my project number here and then here got the project number lah alright ABC001 as I edit here okay so that one is on the additional information that you want to add. And then the next thing that you can take note is on this, on this function, project group. It is actually uh, an interesting function because uh, from this, you can actually create a file for your project. For example, as a contractor, you have done so many projects, right? And maybe uh, you you have done project from all over the world, eh, all over your country, for example, and maybe you want to split it based on the location. 
For example, Kuala Lumpur, Selangor, Melaka. And then you just need to click on here lah. Or maybe you want to spread your folder into the uh, building type. For example, residential building, condominium, apartment, mixed development. You just can click on here. Alright. And click on new. Right. So, for example, today I want to split my file into different type of building. For example, I try to put mixed development. Right. And then here, when you create a new folder, uh, it will be shown here as a zero project and zero visible because currently we don't have any project under this folder. So how you can actually insert a project in here is that you just need, for example, this one is my project, my new project, and I want this project to be put in here, in this uh, file. What you can do is you just need to left click on this project and drag it in whatever file that you want. Lah. For example, I want this project to be in here, mixed development. So what can I do is you just need to click on it and drag to the mixed development. All right, just need to drag. And once you drag, you can see that the status here is changed to one project and one visible. All right. So when uh, the function, this function is very good because the your your first interface will be more neat lah because uh, it can just show you the 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 about the file only. All right. So when you click on when you click on it, then later you will show uh, you the project. All right. So this one on the project group. This one on the project group function. And then uh, I will show you on the filter part. All right. So the filter part is very is very normal. It's very normal, for example, in your like you use Excel, lah, right? So when you click on the filter part, you can see uh, that the our BQ, our TBQ can also filter based on the project name and also project number. Alright, so for example, I want uh, to filter my to filter my project into some name. For example, I try to search Surya. Alright, you just need to uh to key in any pass any keyword here, and the software will show you the the keyword that you want lah. Alright, so for example, I search for Surya, and then what to project, and just need to click on. Okay, so it will show me uh, which project that have the Surya sentence lah, for example, right? So if we want to show all the project, you just need to click on the select all, right? So uh, up until here, maybe you can try to create a project first and then you can try to use the user manager uh, and then you can also try to use this project information and project setting. And then you can also try on this uh, function, which is the filter and also the project group. All right. I will give you. I will give you like five to ten minutes to uh, five minutes uh, to create the project and test on this function. All right. So if you guys want me to repeat on certain topic or you want to ask me question you just can uh, check me in the chat box below lah okay so you, you can try to create the new project first all right
All right. Have you done creating a new project? If yes, you you just can uh, tell me in the chat box below lah. If not, I will wait for you first to create the new project and test on the function that I explained earlier lah. All right. All right, for in time, you Haida, you already done creating the project. How about others? For the trunk, you are setting your server right now, right? You want me to wait for you first because later we can and do uh we can do together. Oh, all right. For Kai Zun Tang, the filter function here is used. Uh, for example, you got a lot of project here, and then got like many names, right? So if you want to, it is easy for you to use filter if you want to find uh a few project name. For example, you as mine here, I got like a few project and then I got like, I put many name here. So maybe you just want to find the, the Surya development project, for example. You just need to click on this filter and then you just need to click on whatever project they, that you want to search. Lah. For example, Surya. I click on Surya because I want try I try to find these two project. I don't want to open like manually open one by one. So I just need to click on this filter lah, for example. So I just type Surya and then I click OK. So this, uh, the TBQ will show me which project is on the, is the Surya one lah, for example. All right. So it is easy if you have like a lot of project here and you want to find just that one particular project. All right. Uh, so, for Kai Zuntang, are you able to understand what is the function of this filter? All right. For the uh, for Trong, you want me to wait for you first? All right, so maybe we can wait for Trump for like two minutes before we start on the TBQ. All right, Trump. I wait for you for two minutes.
for trunk or may or means you means your server uh, is not static yet, yet. <laughs> Uh, for Trong, I would like to confirm with you, during the installation of the software, are you, uh, are you uh, try to stop your antivirus first? Or you just straight away download the software in your own PC? Because by right, uh, before you install our software, you need to uh, stop your antivirus first. And then you can straight away install our software. And then you just need, you can uh, start your antivirus again lah after that. For Trong, my colleague will contact you later and uh, he will try to assist you on that matter lah, okay? So I will, I will continue my training, okay? For Trong, later on, my colleague will contact you, okay? So for the others, once you already create a project, alright, so you just can double click on that project, alright? So once you double click on it, this kind of interface will appear lah. Alright, this interface. This one is a blank interface, blank DQ1. When you already done creating your project. Alright, so before we start uh, importing the PDF, what we need, uh, I will show you on the ribbon tab first. Alright, so here got the file tab. File tab is on the interface before. And then this one is on the edit tab. Edit tab here is uh is the is the tab where you want to edit all your BQ here. And then under the edit tab here, what a few models, which is the bill of quantity, bill up rates, and also report. Alright. So later on, I will show you on how to use the bill up rates and also report function. Alright. For now, we just go to the Bill of, quanti bill of quantities module and then the and then the next 
uh, tab that you need to know is on the cost estimate. Later on, I will explain you further on this one. And then on the analysis part and also on the print preview. But for now, uh, I will explain to you on the edit tab function here first lah, right before because we want to first import our PDF, right? So under this tab, we got this import and export button. All right, so when we click on it, got here identifying PDF, identify Excel. These two is depend on your material. For example, you got the BQ in your in PDF, you can use identify PDF here. But if you have your BQ in Excel, you can use this function, identify Excel function. But because today is uh, our training for the contractor, I will explain to you on the identify PDF, all right? So the next function here is on the export to Excel. So export to Excel here means you, for example, you have done your BQ in our software. And then later on, you want to export this kind of format, the same format here to Excel. You just need to click on here, lah, export to Excel. For example, if I click uh, export to Excel, all right? So here got the, you can choose any bit or element you want to export, but currently we have, we don't have the build element yet because we are not creating that yet. And this one is on the advanced setting. For example, you want to import the description only. For example, you just need to click on description or other information that you want to export. Lah, all right? That one is on the export to Excel. And then this one is get data from other version. For example, you want to copy certain content in BQ from the other version, from the previous version to this version, you can use this function. And then this one is get data from Excel. Get data from Excel where you want to import the quantities or rates and amount into your BQ here. So you can use this function and then get get data from the upgrade is just here. Later, I will show you on how to get the data from this uh, module, the upgrade, all right? And then the top here got the PDF too. Later on, we will go through. And this one is a new, maybe you want to create a new bill, element, heading, subheading node. You can just use this function, all right? This one is the function, the tools, uh, the function for row. You want to delete any row or you want to split or merge any row, you can use it here. And then this one you want to set, maybe you want to set a certain row as a heading or notes, you can just go to here. Later I will show you on how to use it, ah, all right? And then this tool function is on maybe a few, a few functions that you can take note is uh, this one is on the set position. Maybe in your BQ, you want to set your quantity into two decimal places or two uh, or zero decimal places. You do here and then click, lah, all right? Got this function. You just can change it based on your uh, preference, all right? So this one on the filter function. And right on the details, you got, we got your unit rate details and quantity details. Later on, I will show you on how to use it. And then this one is on the font function. You want to like a normal function in Excel, lah, for example. All right. So after under, after we understand this uh, interface, we can try to import our PDF BQ. All right. So, so we just need to on here PDF because uh, uh, the current material that I provide to you is on the PDF, right? So you just need to click on the import and export function here and then just go to identify PDF, all right? Once you click on it, this kind of interface will appear, all right? So from here, I will explain to you on the top part first. Here is the import PDF where you want to select a PDF that you want to import. You can click on here or you want to click on here also can. It depends on you. And the second thing is on the import addendum PDF. Uh, import addendum PDF is currently unavailable because currently we are not yet importing any original PDF. So this uh, interface 
Later on, after we done this part, and then this uh, this button will available lah, alright. And then after we import, we just need to click on identify. We we to make sure the software identify all the data in our PDF. We just need to click on this identify function, alright. So here is uh, your BQ language, alright. And then this one is on the data level. Data level should be by default it is. Uh, it is untick, alright. If you click on tick, later on your BQ, for example, your BQ got heading one, heading two, kan? heading three. Later on, we, when you click on ignore, the software will ignore all the heading, alright. And then this one is a zoom in and zoom out function, like usual. And then this one is on the rotate clockwise and rotate counterclockwise, alright. Later, I will show you on how to use it, lah, alright. So for now, we want to start importing our PDF, all right? So what we can do is you just can go to here, import PDF, all right? You need you just need to click on that button, and then you just need to find the material, all right? So from here, you just click on the PDF BQ one, all right? Not the addendum one, but the PDF BQ one. Okay, you just need to click on it. And then once you click, the software will automatically uh, like download all the all your BQ in here. All right. So on this part, I will show you on how to do it later. I will give you a few minutes to do by yourself, lah. All right. So you just need to listen to me carefully, and then later on you you can try by yourself. And if you got any question, you just can. Uh, inform me in the chat box below. All right. So from here, once we click on the import PDF function, and this is all the pages that we have in our BQ. Right. So we have a lot of pages, but for today's training, maybe we can just uh, maybe we can just uh identify a few a few pages only lah. All right. So I will try to identify until page 27. All right. Excuse me. So uh, if you want to select all the pages, you just need to click, click here, select all. All right. But if you want to select certain pages only, for example, I want to select page one until page 27, right? So what can I do is I don't need to like, Manually click one by one until page twenty seven. I uh, don't need to do that because uh, you guys can actually do for example here. I want to page uh, select the page uh, page one until page twenty seven. So what can I do is you just need to click on the this page one, and then you just scroll up down until page twenty seven. But before you click on this page 27, what you need to do is on your keyboard, you just need to click on shift button, all right? Uh, click and hold the shift button. And then when you click and hold the shift button, you just need to click on this page 27. So our software will automatically select all the pages uh, from page one until page 27, lah, all right? So this one is the page that I want to select. For, the, for today's training, after I select the pages that I want, what I need to do uh, to do is I just need to click on this identify button, all right? So you just need to click on here, and then our software will uh, start to identify the PDF, all right? So we need to wait for a few seconds before the software identify the PDF. All right, once, all right, so this is the interface when our software start to identify the BQ, all right? So uh, maybe I stop here first, and then I will let you guys to try import your PDF first. Maybe I give you like three minutes to import your PDF, and then I will continue to explain you further, lah, all right? So we will start again at 10.46. And then if you guys have any question, you just can uh, chat me in the chat spot below. Okay.
Alright, are you done importing your PDF? If yes, you just uh, uh, put there as yes in the chat box. And then we will start, uh, I will start to explain further on this identifying PDF. Alright. Alright, for Intan, you Haida, you already done importing the PDF. How about Kai Zuntang and the others? Alright. So I will explain to you further about this uh this function. Alright. After we identifying this PDF, what we can see here on the left side here. But P1 and P2, but the color is uh, the gray color. Why is it gray in a gray color? Because uh, currently in our BQ, this is just uh, the cover page for your BQ. So there is no data here. So our software uh, uh, is not, the no data is identified because this is just the cover page for your BQ. Lah. Right, so you just need to click on the 3.1 slash 1. All right. As you can see here, here is on the right side is your original BQ, right? So everything that uh, that are stated in these uh, pages, in, in this page, will be transferred in here. So for example, if you notice just now, when you click on, for example, I click on site clearance here, right? So, and then you will notice here, uh, the the software will highlight to you uh, based on whichever row that you select. Alright, for example, here I click on the starter bar treatment, and then the software on the right side, the software will automatically highlight for you. So it is very easy for you to actually refer back lah. If you want to check one by one, you just can uh, click on whatever whatever sentence that you want lah. Alright, that one is on uh, that. And then, and then, as you notice, on the unit also, the software able to detect automatically, lah. All right. All right. And then, the next thing that you should take note is, uh, the the page that is in the green color. So why it is, uh, in a green color? Because it is actually our sub, our collection page all right for example for bill number 3.1 this is our collection page 3.1 slash 4 all right so and then for bill number 3.2 our collection our collection page is on the 3.2 slash 16 all right so here what you need to take note in the collection page here is that our software we automatically link whichever pages that have in this uh, BQ. For example, here we got 3 point slash uh, 1 point 1 slash 1, 1 slash 2 and 1 slash 3 pages kan. And then the software will automatically link the amount here. For example, I change, I put, uh, I put, for example, I put red here, 5000 here. And I put here as 6,000. All right. So, uh, okay. One thing that you, you can take note is that uh, at every pages, uh, you can actually see the total of every pages, total amount uh, for every pages in here. You got the total here. So, for example, this, uh, for this page, we are yet to include any range. It, so the total will be zero lah. But for this one, I already put uh, 5,000 and 6,000. And then the software will automatically times for us. And then this is the total amount for this current pages. All right. So as you can see here, this is the amount. And then when I put, uh, when I go to the collection page, the software will automatically put that amount in here. So it is very easy for you. You don't need to link manually, lah, all right? So, uh, all right. So, how actually our software able to detect this link page is by referring to this uh, page number. 
Alright, so here got page number 3.1 one. And then the software software will automatically ping the right uh, link the right pages lah. Alright. But if let's say in some cases, maybe in your BQ, like maybe you have a typo, maybe for uh, it mentioned as 2.1 slash one. So the software unable to detect that page to, to, to find that page. What you need to do is you just need to click on, you just need to double click on this, any of this row, and then uh, got these three but uh, three dots. All right, you just need to click on this dot, and then you just need to choose whichever pages that you wish to link to this collection page, lah. All right. So for now, this one is page three dot one slash one. So I just choose here. All right. So I just click. On time, all right. So if let's say if got some cases in term of the typo or maybe your PDF is not, uh, the PDF is not in a good condition. So maybe you can set manually uh, at here lah, all right. That one is on the collection page. Okay. All right. So we go back to the our original BQ for example. Like I said just now, our software can uh, can identify all the data in here. But in some cases, maybe our software uh, got missed out a few a few part of the BQ. So what we can actually do when that's happened is that, for example, let us see maybe got page that the software unable to detect correctly. All right. For example, here you can go to page number three, uh, dot two slash ten. All right. So just you just can go here, and then when you notice here, on the original BQ only got item A, B, C, D. But suddenly in our software we detect got extra, extra row here, kan? So what you need to do is you just need to click. You just need to select on this row, or you just need to click on this function here, the delete function, all right? So you just need to click on it, and then the software will delete the that row lah, okay? Later you can try on the this 3.2 slash 10, and then, all right, in this page, what uh, you notice is that our software just identify until, until this file because uh, in our software right now we don't have uh, the item the b and c item right if you notice uh. and then what we can do if this happen is we can just click on this function manual identify all right so but before that if you for example accidentally close this chat pdf uh, interface, what you can do is you just can go to here, chat PDF. All right, chat PDF. You just need to click on the chat PDF, and then uh, this chat PDF function will appear on your right side. Lah. Okay, so from here, when this happens, what you can do is you just can click on this manual identi identify. All right, so you just need to click on this manual identify. And this, uh, this function will appear at the right side. All right. So here we got draw, draw box, delete box, template, uh, apply template, and the others function here. All right. So as you can see here, our software just detect the data until here. So from here, got two things that you can do. For example, uh, this one is called as a data area. All right. So in the drop box here, got a box for the item and code, got description, unit, quantity, rate, amount, total amount. So you just can click whichever, uh, whichever item based on your uh, PDF lah. Later on, I will show you on this part. But for I will, as I mentioned just now, we got two options if this happened. For example, the software can detect the rest of the data at the bottom part, right? So what you can do, you can also, you can just drag this data area up until here. 
until the bottom part. And then this one is CF should be the CF should be here. We are. So the CF should be at the bottom part here. Alright. So as for the data area, you just need to drag from here up until the bottom uh, until the bottom part. And then you just need to click on identify. Alright. You just need to click on identify. Every time you make changes here, you just need to click on identify. If you don't click on here, the software uh, unable to re-identify your data, right? So you just need to click on, on identify. And then this one, you just need to click on continue. Lah. And after you re-identify your data, right? we wait for a few seconds. Right, but All right. So once we click on the identify, the software now the software uh, able to identify the other data here lah. Now we are, we already have the P and C item. All right. So, uh, that is one option. Another option is maybe you can try on the draw box function. All right. So for today's training, uh, we try on that draw box function. Uh, draw box function. So I just delete all the data here first and then I will show you on how to actually draw the box based on the BQ, right? Alright, so from here, how we can actually use this function is you just need to go to the draw box and then this uh, this uh, this selection will be appear lah. For example, here you want to you want to set here as item, right? So you just need to click on item or code here, and then you just need to draw the draw a box here. Okay, just click uh just choose the correct correct item for your for each column. For example, here is the description column. You just need to click on the description column and description uh, function, and then you just need to draw box here lah, alright. So for example, here is quantity, I just choose quantity and then draw the box here. This one is for the unit, alright. I just draw the box there. And then this one is on the rate. Okay. And then this one is on the amount. So I just choose amount and then draw the And then this one is on the data area. Data area, you need to select here, data area. All right, just need to click on it and uh, create box at all the pages, all right? Uh, up until here. So that the software are able to detect all the information uh, at the bottom part also lah, okay? So this one is on the page number. So page number, go to here, page number area. And then just need to draw box there. And then this one is on, we don't have the bring forward. We have the carry forward or total. So you just need to click on it. And then you just need to draw box here. Okay. That's how you use this function. Lah, this draw and identifying box function. Once you draw this, once you already create the box and all the information in your BQ, what you need to do is you just need to identify again. Lah, all right. All right. Okay. So once you do this, for example, you don't want to actually set, you don't want to actually uh, 
check one by one your pages whether uh, the software are uh, uh, identifying the correct data or not. Alright, so what you need to do is you just can go to these pages that you already create the box and then you need to, you can save the this, uh, this box as a template. So you can use it for another page also lah, alright. For example here, for page 2 slash 14, I want to save these uh, pages as a template. So what you need to do is you just need to go to here save template all right so you just need to click on the save template and once you click on it all right uh, you can also uh, name your template for example i just put as template one lah. template one and then you just need to click on okay once you click on okay this this chop will appear template so this means this pages has been set up as a template all right so uh, after you set template for this one, what you can do uh, in order to apply this template to all the pages here, alright, what you can do is you just need to go to this apply template, alright, apply template here, and then uh, this box will appear, alright, so here you, you just need to refer on the step that we uh, we show to you this one in the first step is just select template for example here you got you already set a few template you got template one template two and template three and then you just need to select which template that you want lah. for example right now i only have one template so this template i will choose this template and then step two is on the please select the page you want to apply the template so what you can do is uh, at your right side here got uh, pages right got a few pages for the bq so for example here is uh, bill number 3.2 so you want to apply this template to all uh, 3.2 bills all right so what you can do is you just need to for example i just choose the 3.2 pages of uh, 3.21 3.2 right i will choose all the pages here for example Right, and then once I choose whichever pages that I want to apply the template, what can I do is I just need to click on this button apply and identify. All right, you just need to click on here, and then this prompt will appear. You just need to click on continue. Lah. All right, continue, and then the software will automatically apply that template to all the pages that you have already selected. Lah. Okay. Alright, so currently all the pages here uh, have the same template as the as page number 3.2 slash 14. Alright, as you notice here, when this page we select uh, we, we select as a template, this uh, this small t this small t symbol will appear. That's mean this one is the template, is our template, alright? So up until here, are you guys able to understand uh, on how we actually uh, identify the PDF into our software? If you guys uh, need me to repeat anything, you just can uh, inform me in the chat box. And then I will try to repeat for you. Lah. Maybe I'm too fast so you are unable to understand. So you just can notify me in the chat below. All right. So if you guys able to understand, all right. So I proceed to the next. Uh, the next step is I want to explain to you on this function, define price function. Okay, so it's this define price function, as you can see here, for example, here, got item, your unit. Your unit is item, right? So by default, if the unit is, is item, our software will define the price as AO. When you click on here, got like a few types of price. The normal price, rate only, fixed amount, fixed rate, and amount only, for example. As for the item, item, the unit, uh, the, the BQ, 
that have the unique item, our software will automatically detect as a, um, a amount only. Alright, but for the normal, for the normal, for example here, the normal unit, which is the number meter, meter square or meter cube, the software detect it as a normal price. So you can, if for example, our software unable to detect the type of the price here, you just need to click on this different price function lah, alright. So let me see for example, uh, for example here, in page 3.2 slash 1. Alright, as if you notice here is the meter cube, right? So, and then this bottom part is item. But our software detect as a normal price. We can see here the software detect as a normal price. So what you can do here is you just need to click on this row, or maybe you just need to click on this uh any of these five, and then you just need to click on the define price and choose and change from the uh, normal price to the amount only, right? When you click on A, as you can see here, 40, right? So when you click on amount only, and you click OK, and then the software will automatically change the, the code here as AO, which is the amount only, all right? So you can make use the define price function in order to maybe adjust uh, a few items in your PQ. Right. Alright, so up until here, maybe the next thing that I can explain to you is on the heading part, lah, for example. Alright, for example, here, our software will detect the level of your BQ. Like I said just now, during the identifying PDF, got the level button, right? So, our software, by right, our software will automatically detect the level. But maybe if you want to make some adjustment, you can make use as this one. For example, you want to set this as heading, you just need to set as heading. Alright, for example. And maybe you want, this one is heading 3, but you want to change this to heading heading 2, for example. You can also use this uh, function. Alright, this one is the pro mode, and this one on the demo. You can choose whichever function that you want. For example, I click on here, the pro mode, so it become a uh, heading two. All right. So that's one on this part. And then maybe you want to add uh, a new item here. You can also go to here item. You just need to click on item, and our software will automatically add a new build item here lah. You can make use uh, on this function on this uh, top function. Alright, um, if you want to delete this one, we just need to click on delete. Alright, so up until here, I will give you like five minutes to try uh, on the identifying on the chat PDF earlier. I will try, uh, I will give you time to do on the draw box function and then try to identify again. And then after that, after you done that part, you can also try this function, self template and also apply template. And then once you done that, you can also go to here, define price, all right? So I will give you uh, maybe five to 10 minutes to actually use practice on this function. And then if you got any question, you just uh, need to tell me in the chat box below, lah, all right? So you can start uh, doing by yourself and then later we will continue on another topic. Alright.
For Intan Juhaida, sorry for the defined price type. If we want to change, do we need to click at the unit box or net rate uh, box? You can actually just select, just click on whichever, for example, you want to change this row, right? So you can also click on this row and then just need to go to the defined price here. And then you just also, you just uh choose whatever price that you want, 
and then you just need to click on OK lah. Alright, so for example, you if you click on here also can. Alright, so make sure you just click the 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 right row, and before you change the define price lah. Okay, is that okay? Alright. Maybe after you are done your your practice, you can go to maybe a toilet break before we start again. Uh, currently 11.20, maybe we start at 
All right. Have you done uh, on the identify PDF and also on this part? On the check PDF, manual identify and also on the define price. If you are done and you don't have any question, you just put the SCS lah. And then if you guys have any question to ask, you just you just can ask me in the chat box below. Before we start, uh, in the next chapter, right? How about Intan Johaida? Are you done? For Kai Zuntang? How about Zuntan? Are you done? Alright, nice. Okay, after... <clears throat> Alright. Once we done that part, I will proceed to the next topic. I will open my slide first, alright? Alright, so here I already explained to you. This one on the auto identification. Later on, if you guys uh want to want to refer to anything if you forgot some uh, some things you can refer to this slide lah all right all right the next chapter will be the costing part all right, so for the costing, you have a uh, option. For example, you want to just manually key in. Uh, all right, we got a question. Where to get this slide for revision? We will email to you later together with the recording and also uh, on the requirement for the submission of project. All right. Okay. Okay, I will proceed to the next chapter, which is the costing one. All right, for the costing, you have uh, uh, two options. Whether you want to key in manually, which is the direct pricing, pricing in your BQ. For example, as a main contractor, you, you don't want to have your own BR rate here. So you just want to use your subcontractor rate. All right, so what you can do is you just need to key in here, lah, direct pricing. For example, for example, got one item uh, in the subcontractor give you give you quotation. For example, uh, here is 50 ringgit. So you just want to put based on your subcontractor price, you just can man manually key in here. Okay. But if you don't want to do that, we can also use this module, which is the bid upgrade module. Okay. So one, av one advantage when you use this model is that you in the future you can actually refer back. For example, uh, you already done the upgrade uh, in this project and you can actually save these uh, resources to your library just now. Okay. And then later on when you want to do another project and you want to refer uh, the same price, the same rate, you just can open uh, in your library. So uh, it is very good to actually have your own BR rate. But if your company doesn't need this BR rate, you just can manually key in your rate here. Lah. Okay. So next, I will explain to you on the on the this one is on the BR rate order. Alright. So for the BR rate, you can go to here. Here got three models, which is the BQ, the upgrade, and also report. So for now, you just need to click on this bit upgrade. All right, just click on here, and then this is the interface for our bit upgrade. All right. So before I explain further, uh, I will explain to you on the top, the top function first. Uh, all right. So this one on the on your left side, 
left top side, you got this import and export. Alright, so import and export here, you can actually import the data for unit rate, material and also labor by using this function lah, identify Excel. Alright, so this one is you want to export this format, this exact format in our TBQ in Excel, you can use this function and then you can also uh, import your bit out rate for example, like I said just now, if you already have uh, the your resources rate, resources library, so you can use this function lah, batch import from the resources library. Alright, you can also copy the rate from resources library, and you can also copy the rates from other projects. So uh, here got many flexibility based on your preference. Alright. So here, at the top part, we got subcategory, sibling category, and heading. You can make use uh, this function if you want to, for example, I for example, I choose this raw material. For example, you want to create manually uh, the rate for your material. For example, I just click on the subcategory here, all right? And then I just need to click on concrete, for example. All right, so when, once you click on the concrete, you just can click on the item lah, alright item, or maybe you want you want your 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 raw material got heading. You just can also use the heading one. If not, you just can use item. For example, here item raw material, and maybe you can just put as this one is maybe concrete ready mix concrete ready mix concrete. Rate the T for example. And then you just need to click on this unit for example, meter cube. And then you just need to insert the press lah. Alright. And then this one is if you have like a brand, a specific brand, for example, ABC. Alright. So that is the function for this one. Alright, and then this one is on. Maybe you want to set the uh, set the position for this one. Alright, maybe you want your rate to be rounded to zero decimal places or two decimal places. You can make use of this function. And then the this one I will show you later on how to use it. And same goes to this one. I will show you later once we already have uh when we have already have data here lah. Alright. So that's one on the on the B upgrade module. But before that, uh, I would like to explain to you on how we can actually use our B upgrade. Alright. So I, I will show you on the slide first. Alright, so this is the the ways that we can actually do the B upgrade be up unit rates for the okay so we have here three options you can choose uh, whichever option that you want to do uh, based on your company lah all right for example here we got the first method is on the item with one all in rate okay item in with one all in rate is very simple because for example you have this concrete grade c15 and then the final you uh, final unit rate is 100 so you just need to key in like this lah for example c15 and then the the base price is 100 right for example this one like it's very simple very simple breakdown for your material material lah all right this one is on the item with all one all in rate and then the second way is on, is on the item with rate breakdown, left to right, right? Left to right because here, for example, here got, uh, for example, here C15. C15, we got breakdown for the material, labor, and equipment. It is different uh, from here because here, we just need to key in the final unit rate. For example, here 100, right? So if you choose this method, sorry, if you choose this method, you just need to key in the final rate for this material. But if you choose this method, you have flexibility to put uh, the rate for each 
each element. For example, for the material, you can put as 62 ringgit. For the labor, you can put as 30 ringgit. And for the equipment, you can put as 10 ringgit. And then the final will be 100, right? And then the third meter is on the uh, item with red breakdown, but top to down. It is same as, the, uh, as this one, but this one is on the left to right. But this one is on the top to down. Okay, what is the difference between these two is that, uh, for example, here you just key in material, 60 ringgit, but you don't know what material, what type of material that uh, are using here. For example, for labor, we got like many type of labor, general labor, a skill labor, a semi skill. So if you key, if you use these uh, ways, item with red breakdown left to right, you don't know the specific, um, the specific, material, labor, and equipment for each of the item, all right? But if you use our, our third option, which is the item with red breakdown, top to down, you can actually have your own specific description for each raw material, labor, and also equipment, for example. All right, uh, I suggest you to use this one, lah, but it depends on your company, lah, all right? So, so for example here, grade, concrete grade C15, all right? So under this one, we got raw material. As if you refer to this one, raw material, but we don't know what, what type of material that we use. So if you use this kind of format, you can actually know, okay, raw material we use as a concrete grade 15. For the labor, we use labor for concreting lah because we have like a lot type of labor and labor for concreting, labor of laying laying brick, for example. And then this one on the equipment, you have, you can actually show here what type of equipment that you are using, all right? So this is the three methods that, basically the three methods that you can use uh, in our bit of grade lah, okay? So after you understand this part, I will show you in the BQ8 in our software on how to do it manually first lah, alright? So we can just, okay, before that, uh, up until here, is everyone understand on this uh, method to do the bit upgrade? Or you need me to explain further? If you understand, you can just put in the chat box as a yes. And if you want me to repeat, just tell me lah. I will try to repeat for you. For Kai Zuntang, you want me to explain further on which part? So uh, we got here basically we got three method right. So this one is uh if you if your company just have this final rate you just can use this one item with all in way. The second one is on the item uh with rate breakdown left to right. If you don't want to have like a specific description for the material, labor, and equipment, you just can use this one. But for me personally, I will use this one lah. But it depends on you guys actually. Alright, so for this one, I will try to explain further on this one. For example, here, uh, grade, uh, grade C15, for example, the unit rate is 100. So from 100, uh, how we can actually get this 100? Because we have the material cost, labor cost, and also equipment cost, right? So if you, if you use this kind of format, we can actually know, for example, on the material part, what type of material that we use uh, in this C15. For example, as for the material, we use concrete grade 15 lah, all right? So for the raw material, concrete grade 15, and then the, the, the price is 60 ringgit, okay? And then the next breakdown is on the labor. Okay, for the labor, what type of labor that we want to use? For example, here, because this is a concrete work, so we put as the labor for concrete work lah. It depends on your, a uh, trade, all right? So for the labor for the concreting work, the price is 30 ringgit, for example. 
and then the next breakdown is on the equipment. So for the equipment, what type of equipment that we do and that we use is the concrete pump. All right. So the rate for the concrete pump is 10 ringgit. All right. So basically, when you total up all the price here, the the final the final amount will be hundred. All right. Same to here. All right. So for Kai Zuntang, are you able to understand on how uh, this third method? All right. So later on, I will show you on how to actually use this method in our BQ or in our in our TBQ. Okay. So if you guys uh, already understand on this three method, I will explain to you on how to use in our software okay all right so we go to here first i will delete this one first lah. all right okay we go to here we got the unit rates composite material raw material composite labor labor equipment and also others okay so for example i try to Based on the three method just now, I will show you on how we actually can key in here. All right. So for example, for the unit rate, for unit rate, you just need to add uh, the uh, subcategory here. And then for this point, I put as a manual concrete works manual. Because later on, I will teach you on how to import from Excel. So this one I put as a manual first lah. Alright. So from here, I will show you on the slide. Alright. You just need to key in the, the, the description here and just need to put on the base price. Okay. So what we can do is, for example, we need to just add here. And then for example, here is the Concrete rate 15. And then once we key in here, we can just uh, and then select your unit. And then from here, you just need to key in, key in here. And then if you are, for example, ABC supply, uh, the brand is ABC. Alright, so this one you don't need to actually key in on the material, base price for material, base price for labor, and also the equipment. You just need to key in here, 100 for example. So once you key in here, 100, all this, uh, all this information will, you are unable to uh, make any adjustment here because you already put your total, uh, total rate here. Alright, for example, I delete. Alright, so you are able to put one by one here lah. So, but for now, I am, I am explaining to you on the first method. So, I will just put here, here as a concrete grade 15 and then at the total adjust rate here, I put as 100. Alright. So, this one is on the first method. Alright. So, uh, for you to understand, I just here to, I put here on the description as a first method. Alright, and then for the second method, how you can actually do that is you just need to click on the item again, and then for the second uh, method, maybe you we can we can use the second, which is the C thirty. Alright, so currently we are we are now doing the second method, right? So C thirty, C thirty. How we can actually key in this hundred sixty. 30 and 30 ringgit uh, and 10 ringgit for the equipment. What we can do is just go to our BQ first and then here concrete, just put as a concrete grade 30. Okay. And then I put here as a second method lah for easy reference later. Okay. This one is on the second method. All right. So the unit is M3, a meter cube. Uh, meter cube. And then from here, you can actually key in one by one in the material, labor, and also equipment. Lah. Right, for example, here just now, the material is 160 if not, if I'm not mistaken. 
And then the label one is uh, 30 ringgit. For the equipment is uh, 10 ringgit. So the final, final amount is 200. Okay. This one on the second method. Alright. So for the third method. Alright. So for the third method. Right. So for the third method here. How we can actually do this kind of uh, method is, for example, I add on another item. All right. So this one, maybe I can use the bottom one is, uh, all, right. all right. So maybe this one, I can just use concrete with 15. Oh, already then. Concrete grade 35. Alright. And then I put here as a third method. Lah. Okay. So from here, how we can actually uh, get the breakdown for the raw material, labor and also equipment is you just need, you just need to click on this. Uh, icon sub item all right why you click on it uh, you can uh, we add another row here for example we got three breakdown right for for material uh, labor and also equipment so i just click three and just create three uh, three row here and then what i can do is you just can double click on it and then this uh, drop down button will appear lah all right. So for example, I choose a material. Material. Now, once I choose material, as you can see here, only we can just key in uh, in the material column. Material column. All right. So for example, I put here as 170. Okay, 170. And then the second thing, the second row, I choose a label. For example, once I click label in here, only label column, uh, we can actually key in the base price. All right. For example, the label I put as 40. And then the, the third breakdown is on the equipment, for example. Okay, equipment. And then when, when you click on the equipment, only the equipment column can be added. So here is the, maybe the price is 10 ringgit, for example. All right, so once you do that, the, the software will automatically uh, sum, sum up the total uh, total amount here to 220. You can see here the total, uh, the total unit rate for this breakdown is 220. That one is on the manual method on how you can actually do the bit up unit rate lah, okay? Maybe you want to, maybe uh, I will give you five minutes to do this slide. And if you guys have any problem, you can just uh, tell me in the chat box below. You just can try for the first, second, and also the third method on the manual uh, key in. Okay?
for Kai Zuntang. Miss, you, Miss, can you simply do another one for us to see? Because just now our office PC lab, we can't follow. Okay, can can. All right, I will show you on how we can actually do the manual. Uh, how we can actually do manually for the for the wait, yeah, for these three method. All right. So I will show you again. All right. So I just uh do at the bottom part lah, right? So for example, for the first method, first method we just need to key in the total amount here, right? So what we can do for the first method is just we can just click on this item button, alright? We just need to click on this uh button here, and then for example, you put here concrete. Red 45 for example. And then this one is on the first method lah. I put here. Because later it will, it will be easy for you to actually refer back lah. Alright. So for this one, I choose the unit. And what can I do if I want to use uh, the first method is I just need to put here. On the total, adjust rate. Alright. So... I just put here maybe 150. Alright, so once we key in in this column, all the other all the other column for material, labor and equipment, we are unable to do anything, to adjust anything because we are now using our first method. Alright, so but we if we delete, then the software able to we can actually key in one by one lah. Alright, so but for now, I want to show you on the first method. I, we just need to key in here lah. For the first method, just need to key in here as 150, for example. Okay. So, this one is on the first method. On the second method, you just need to also click on this item button. And then, for example, I put as a concrete grade. Okay lah. Alright. So this one on the second meter. Right, for the second meter, as you see in the slide just now, as you can see in the slide just now, just need to click uh, to key in the material, labor, and also equipment. Right. So what we need to do is just go to here, for example, material. Material for our material, just need to click on to to edit in here the base price, all right? So for example, I put there as a hundred feet and hundred eighty, and then for the label, maybe I can put here as a thirty, and then for the equipment, I put here as a ten, ten ringgit, all right? So the total is will be two hundred and twenty. This one on the second method, all right? Then I will proceed to the third method, which is the which is this one lah. Item with rate breakdown, top to down. Alright. So how we can actually do this in our software is the first thing that you need to do is you just need to click on this item. Alright. Just key in whatever whatever information lah. Concrete, for example, concrete grade 50. Alright. This one on the third method. Alright, once you uh, once you add a new item for this third method, what you need to do is you just need to click on this sub item. Alright, sub item. For example, in our uh, breakdown, we have three other items. For example, raw material, labor, and equipment. Right. So we just need to click on this sub item. Sub item. Sorry, and then just need to create three rows. Ah. And then here, for example, we want to uh, select the raw material. Alright, so you just need to click on the raw material here. And then at the raw material here, you just you can also, for example, raw material here is the grade 50, right? Concrete grade 50. So for the description here, you can put as, for example, concrete ready mix concrete, for example. Ready mix concrete grade. 
50. All right. So this is your detail description. All right. This or your detail description. For the second method, you cannot key in the detail uh, the details description for each material label and equipment. But if you choose the third method, you are able to actually key in the description here. All right. So here you put as a ready mix complete, and then choose any unit, and then this one I just put for example one hundred seventy. Okay, once you click raw material, only you can you can only key in your price at the material part lah, right? Because for example, this one I choose labor. When you choose labor, you can only key in uh, the rate in the labor column, alright? And then this one maybe I choose uh, equipment, and then you only can key in in the equipment table, alright? So for this one maybe. You can put as maybe general worker or like the slide just now is on the label for concreting. Okay. It depends on your the upgrade lah. Alright, for the general label, maybe I put here as a 30 ringgit. And then for the equipment, maybe you use for the concrete get 50, maybe you use a concrete mixer or concrete for the upper floor kan? concrete mixer and then here I put as 10 ringgit for example and then once you key in all the breakdown for this item concrete grade 50 you are able to see the total in here 200 10 ringgit okay so this is basically on the Third method on how you can actually do it manually lah. Uh, for Kai Zuntang, are you able to understand up until here? Method one truly key in at the total age. Just read the method. Yes, 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 true. Okay, so you understand, right? So it's very simple, but you just need to confirm with your company uh, to use which type of method lah. All right. That's why I just delete because I already have the, bot the bottom part. All right. So this one is on your manual way to key in your unit rate. All right. So can I proceed to the next topic or maybe you want me to explain anything? All right. <clears throat> so for now, I will show my slide first. All right, so we finish on this three method. And now I want to I want to teach you on how we can actually uh, how we can actually for example here we got the raw material labor and equipment right so currently we don't have any this one we got uh, this one for example raw material we have this raw material because we already key in in the unit rate right so if you already key in here the software will automatically put the raw material here but uh, if you have, for example, in Excel, you have your Excel copy for the raw material, labor, and also equipment, you can also straight away import from the Excel to this uh, TBQ. All right. So how we can actually do that? All right. So first thing, we need to import the material, uh, the raw material, the labor, and also equipment. So what we need to do is you just need to click on here, import and export, all right? Import and export, and then you need to click on this identify Excel, okay? All right, so once you click on it, this uh, box will appear, identify Excel, and we got uh, four steps, step one, step two, step, step three, and also final step. Alright, so from here, what you can do is you can click on this, open Excel. But for example, if you uh, don't still don't have the 
the Excel format, you can also have, we also provide you this kind of template. So you just need to download here and then key in in the Excel and then you can just import here lah, import in our TBQ. It is very simple. But for example, if you guys already have the data in your Excel, you can just proceed in this one lah, open Excel, all right? So I just need to click on the open Excel and then I will click on the... Alright, so uh, for now, I will teach you guys how to actually import the base price. Alright, so I just, you just need to choose this, uh, this file, base price library. Okay, so once you click on it and just need to click open. Alright, so here, uh, uh, here if, if you notice, here is actually our original Excel lah, but when it will be it will shown like this lah. And then here we got label sheet. Make sure you know which sheet that you want to actually import lah. For example, now I show you on the label first, right? So the label. So what you can do is, uh, the step number two is set rate type all right so you just need to click on the drop down button here and choose the correct information for example currently you want to import for the label right so you just need to click on the label if you click on the wrong on the wrong uh, title this data will be transferred in the wrong uh, in the wrong folder lah all right so make sure you check carefully which uh, sheet that you want to import and then for example this one is label and then here you just need to click on the label all right so once you click on the on this step number two we just proceed to step number three which is identify column and row okay so here as you notice here as you notice uh, our software will automatically detect for you which uh, column is grid code, which column is description, and which column is the unit rate lah, for example. But uh, if, uh, if, if let's say in some cases the software unable to detect it, you can make use this function, set column as uh, what, based on the item that you want lah, alright. So if we see here, our our software able to detect all the column uh, correctly and then you just need to click on identify specific content right all right once you click on it you can see here for our software if you have a two p a two two pc is very is very good for you because you can actually see clearly all right, for example here, if uh, once I click on the, all right, so once I click on this, on this identify specific content, all the data have been transferred to my sheet here, the label one, all right. And then the next thing, all right, for, and then for example, the next, a uh, sheet that you want to import is on the material part, right? So you just need to click on the material. For example, let me... Wait, ah. Okay. For example, I want to, the next sheet that I want to import is on the, <laughs> wait, ah. okay. The next sheet that I want to import is on the material sheet. So you just need to repeat the step, step one, step two, step three, and step final step. For example, this one is material sheet. You just need to click on the, this one set rate type and click on the raw material. And then once you click on it, you just need to click on the step number three, which is the identifying column and row. All right, so as you can see here, our software able to detect all the raw material, all right? 
So you just need to check, like a brief check, whether the software able to detect all your information here or not. And then if, and then we proceed to the last sheet, which is the plan and machinery. Okay, so for the plan machinery, same goes with the others. You just need to proceed to the step number two here. For the, you choose equipment, and then just need to click on the identifying column and rows, all right? So once you click on it, you can see that our software are able to detect all the column and also all the equipment in here, okay? Uh, click on identify specific content, all right? You just, need, you just need to click on here lah, identify specific content. But before that, uh, for example, if this row, our software able to detect it as equipment. For example, you how you, you can change it, you can just uh, go to here, set row as, and then you just need to click on it lah, and then choose the equipment. Because currently, uh, only have the heading and equipment because currently we choose equipment. For example, if we choose label, then this one will be changed to heading and label lah, all right? So that one if got any incorrect detection lah. And then we just need to proceed to the final step here. Identify specific content, all right? So we actually done uh, importing all the raw material, label and also equipment in our QBQC uh, software, all right? So this one is on how you can actually import the data from the Excel to the software. Okay. Uh, up until here, uh, are you guys able to understand on how to actually we import all the data for the raw material, label, and equipment into our software? If yes, if you guys understand, you can just put in the chat below low as a yes if no uh, you can also notify me in the chat box lah. all right thank you for you guys who actually replied to me for the intern Johaida, Kai Zinta and also Guan Guozan all right so maybe you guys can do maybe you guys can do uh for your part first on this on this importing the raw material composite label and label and also equipment all right so i will give you like three minutes to do your part
Are you guys able to import the resources to our TBQ? Got any question? If if you got any question, you just can ask me in the chat box below. All right. So if you don't have any question, all right. So thank you for responding. All right. So for if you guys have no question, we will stop until here, and then you can go to your lunch first, huh? All right, and then we will start again at 2 p.m. Is that okay? All right, so later on, uh, I will actually ask you on how we can actually import these uh, resources to our TBQ. And then if you able to remember all the steps, and then I will proceed to the next, uh, the next chapter lah. Okay, so we we'll stop here, and then I will continue again at two p.m. Okay, have a nice uh break, <clears throat> and make sure you guys come back again at two thirty, at two two p.m. Right? Thank you. Recording stop.